Welcome to another lesson on how to integrate transcript with, Re with reactive documents on the web. Today's episode is a bit of an extra episode. This is just a little bonus, a little bit extra, and we're going to talk about NumScript. Now, NumScript, the support is not complete, but there's still a lot of powerful and useful things that you might want to do out of it. So I thought I'll spend a little bit of time to talk about um, what it looks like when you integrate NumScript. Um, if you did try in a naive way, you'll realize that it wouldn't work. Now to do that, you need to give the code some hints in terms of how it should compile your code. And I found it to be rather clunky at the time of recording. Maybe it gets better and maybe someone comes along and thinks of a better way. But nevertheless, I think it's important just for um, clarity and for completeness to talk through about how all these things would work. So um, there's a lot of boilerplate code and I'm just gonna copy and paste it. It's also in examples in the documentation. So don't be afraid to look at that. So th this is the, the boilerplate code. Essentially, it's saying um, that please import all of these things. And if it's in the trans transpiler sort of space, you also import numscript, otherwise you import numpy. This is so that um, you can still run this as normal Python code, which is actually really, really cool. So, um, and then when you do, and then when you do run your Python, uh, your NumPy code, you also need to consider um, to use the appropriate hints as well. So for example, even if I want to do something as simple as create a NumPy array and add one, and then return it as, a, as, a, as, a, as an array in JavaScript, you still need to add these hints. There's a lot more examples that they, that they have in terms of um, what you need to do uh, that is in the documentation. I encourage you to look at it, but this is a, a little taste of um, the kind of detail that in your go through. So just to show you that this works when this starts and finishes compiling, um, we can uh, we can just bring this over to our good friend CodePen and then just run the um, python underscore table dot test array operation. So python table test array operation and if I put in one two three you should just add one and um, that will be a vectorized operation um, that runs in some kind of numpy kind of fashion and that should be console log so there we go two three and four so that's just a little bonus for you to think about how you can integrate numscript do have a go and do have a think about and do have a play around because it's actually pretty cool.